Hello and welcome to the first episode of our Exploring Tunisia series. In this episode, we're in Hammamet, a coastal town northeast of Tunisia. It's about 65 kilometers from Tunis. First, we go on a unique and authentic Tunisian tea date. Then we get lost within the old Medina of Hammamet. And finally, we pay a visit to the dead just outside the walls of the Medina. Good morning, beautiful people. So here we are on our way out of Tunis. And we're heading towards Hammamet this morning. So we're heading towards Hammamet this morning. And it's a nice day. Uh, fairly cold but it's it's uh what it's spring but anyway one thing that we notice is that there's a high level of security here in, in tunisia everywhere we stop there's a police there's the police everywhere we stop basically um it's it's a, both a good thing and a bad thing maybe bad because I don't know, is it safe? But it's also a good thing because there, there are people out there trying to protect other people, trying to protect the citizens. And, and so I feel safer. However, I haven't seen so many police in one place since we've been traveling. So it's like every 100 meters or so, there's a police check. There's a police checkpoint that is a little crazy though From first impressions, Tunisia is unlike anywhere we've ever been to. I mean, the architecture is different. Uh, it looks similar to most modern African constructions, but it has its own very unique character, I have to say. Um, the streets are bustling with people going about their day, and it, it's very clean. I'm liking it so far. Look at the rock, look at the rock, baby. Very nice. This is what is it? A rock like the one in Malta. Our first stop in Hammamet was Cafe Sidi Boudid, where we were served with our very first taste of Tunisian mint tea. Delicious!
This is the CD Woodies Cafe. So the Medina is the old town of Hammamet. It's a small town, but it's nice. But as you can see, the architecture is a beautiful combination of blue and white. Oh, how pretty it is. It's so pretty. Oh, nice. So we should be having a walk around soon. It's quite a, a big group we have here, so for me it's a bit, <laughs> a bit uncomfortable because there's so many people and there's a lot of noise. You know, Italians talk quite a lot and quite loud, Sicilians to be precise. So, yeah. So cheers again. Ciao. Hammamet is a fortified small town and you can see the walls just all around in the Mediterranean style you know and up there it looks like there's a, a tower up there as well let's take the camera up a little bit oh that's so cool and then there's the white buildings with blue doors or balconies and windows it's just so cute Amazing. Oh, the sound of the sea. How I love the sound of the sea. It's amazing. No, però ce l'ho tutti. Grazie, grazie, però c'è tutti davanti. Sì, dopo, dopo. Ciao. No, <laughs> 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 
Sono guardare! C'hai paura? Non mangio te! Non mangio te! Non in arabo, in italiano, ah, bianco un minuto la scritta, 5 dinari, un euro capito. 50. Tutti parlano italiano. Anche ok. E ora? Vediamo un po'. Penso che mi piace. It's also pretty, look at the blue and the tiles as well. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. And everyone's so nice and friendly. Our first stop in Tunisia and this is called Hamamet and it's a old fortified town a small fortified town which uh, was founded by the Andalusians because they were expelled from from Spain for whatever reason and they came and settled down here but over the years there's been a lot of change in history there have been a lot of um, um, should we say colonizations so the Turks came and expelled the Italians actually from here and built the city as it is right now but at the moment there's a huge community of Italians and Spanish Andalusians and of course Tunisians all living in harmony right now we are in the cemetery area yep. and there's something really interesting happening here to the right we've got a Muslim cemetery and to the left there's a Christian cemetery amazing what this town has been able to achieve like two opposite opposite religions you know not only living together in life but also in death amazing so now we're going back, we're heading back to uh, Hamamet town so because we're outside the walls as you can see and now we're going to go back in the walls and of yeah, old Medina of the old Medina, it's called Medina <laughs> okay, see you now we're having a walk around oh <laughs> hello So we we're having a walk around the, uh, the town center outside the walls and it's so beautiful here especially because you've got the sea on the side look at that so peaceful amazing so baby 
How are you today? I'm okay. Very okay? Yes, <laughs> I will say for now. Okay. So far, so good, yeah? Yes. And it's a nice day today. It's a nice day. The temperature is going up. Yeah. I was not expecting so cold. Yeah, me neither. I wasn't expecting it to be so cold. So after a few more relaxing minutes in the beautiful town of Hamamet, we said our goodbyes and headed right back on the road. The adventure continues in the next episode, next time on our Exploring Tunisia series. We go to visit Rome away from Rome one of the most well-preserved Roman amphitheatres in the world, El Gem. See you next time!